I feel so bad. There's like 90 people nearly waiting at this bus station right now. We need so many buses to actually get all these people to where they want to go. Alright guys, hello and welcome back to Minneapolis, back to Transport Fever 2 and back to the campaign with me, Spacefish. And as you guys may remember, in the last episode we left off here in the Midwest just having started this campaign mission. With all these long distance bus stations built and connections set up and uh, well, us now starting our first few connections out into these very remote towns. That said, I'm not actually sure I managed to get one bus attached to each of these lines because if you guys remember we always have to keep training staff on these training courses and it's actually a very slow and tedious process so only through trading, uh, training rather, not trading, but training staff out here, do we get more bosses that we can then use in our other lines? So, let me actually check out what we have going here. So, we've got Lacrosse, we've got Rose something, <laughs> Rochester, there we go, and uh, we've got a St. Cloud, and it does look like we have one vehicle for each of these lines. Now, that said, I'm not actually sure I'm going to be happy with one vehicle. We do obviously have the ability to get another bus, so I am going to do just that. I'm going to go and order yet another one, and I am going to get it going on the lacrosse to Minneapolis line. And I'm just literally going to keep doing that as we upsize the guard network that we're working with here and this is actually by the way our central hub right here just like this little teeny tiny station that apparently right now we have got like uh i don't know like 60 people stacked up on we've obviously got buses coming but i'm pretty sure we don't have enough buses coming for 60 people that is pretty mad um Fingers crossed that these people won't have to wait for too long. But that said, it does seem like we are already at 26 boarded passengers, which is pretty crazy, I'll have to say. I did expect this to take a bit longer and me to have to cut uh, stuff out for you guys. But if we keep going at this speed, we'll probably be pretty fine. It does seem like the game counts passengers boarded both in Minneapolis and the uh, more remote towns so we can just keep going hiring another bus driver with another bus getting him on the row something to Minneapolis line and he'll just go out here too look at that it's already a big person oh my god there's so many people <laughs> this is so many people right here I feel so bad there's like 90 people nearly waiting at this bus station right now we need so many buses to actually get all these people to where they want to go like, just imagine that, right? There's 26 people out here already. We've got two buses on that route. So that means we can transport at most 18 with one bus, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Support the efforts. Yeah, okay, so that's the right... Yeah, okay. That's cool, so we want to support the efforts. Supply the route maintenance depots with a total. Oh, so this is where we will now actually apparently need the trucks. Now, that said, uh, 100 construction materials, 100 asphalt. Where do we supply that to and where are the road maintenance depots? I will have to find out about that. This is a road maintenance depot, apparently. This is where we. Oh, okay, so this is a whole production chain, apparently. We will need to get clay from the quarry. Whoa. Yeah. Paint the bosses set for at least five lines in a different color. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. So uh, that's going to be our first uh, little look at that, apparently. Now the question is, where do I actually get asphalt from, though? Oh, this is where. Okay, so the asphalt plant will be pretty easy to attach. All right, let, let's just get as many bosses as we can right now because I'm pretty sure we will need them all. So, what we will have to do now, first things first, is we will have to actually set up some, uh, well, truck stops. 
Just like that. Okay. At the respective plans, and then I'll need one unload stop at the final station. So we need one and we need two. And we need uh, three. Just like that, and then I'll uh, need an unload stop right out here. Okay, perfect. Now the question for me, honestly, is can I just build a bridge out here, or am I blocked from doing that? Let's just try. Looks like we can do that. That's perfect. Let's do it. Okay, because that's obviously shortening the way for my trucks by a huge lot, which is going to be very helpful. I am also... Just going to get another street out here to shorten the ways even more. And I'm going to get another one out here to shorten the ways even more. I'm just going to be helping myself out there a little bit. And same thing right here. I'm going to make a new bridge right out here. Trucks are going to be going right down there. And then we will just get a straight street right down there. And that way all these transport distances are going to be a little lower. Now, that said, I'm going to firstly set up a new line from this to this, and we will call it the asphalt line. And I don't really estimate we will need too many buses because it's really just a direct line, so I'll give it like, well, trucks actually first, but I think I'll give it like three. Let's just uh, let's just see how many we're going to be working with as more drivers are training. Now, uh, we will have another line that will go from up here to down there and that will be the clay line and what we will then also need is going to be a line from here to here which is going to be a short one and that's going to be the brick line so i'm thinking for the brick line we honestly only need two we're going to need more for the clay line because the distance is a bit bigger so let me go into the road deeper right here i am gonna for the start oh come on no i don't want to go to the corner of the map please stop abducting me camera Guys, I'm being abducted by the camera again. What do I do? I don't want to. No, let me go. Let me go. Thank you. God. Okay. Uh, quick solution to the, to that for you. Um, just mash the keys, get free, and get flipping abducted again. What the heck? What's going on today? Perfect. Okay. Not a third time. At the very least. So, that said, I'm going to start with three at the clay line. I am going to start with... Uh, I think two for the brick line. Then we're going to make it three for the asphalt line. And then I'm going to get another truck that I am going to get out to the clay line. And then the next truck after that is going to be for the bridge. No, not bridge, for the brick line as well. So, this thing goes to the clay line and now we'll just have to pretty much wait until a new driver has been trained. That said, yeah, great, these guys are only filling up with two asphalt for the time being, because this is not really nicely filled up, but I'm sure that will get fixed on the next trip. So, um, yeah, pretty hopeful for that. Now, with that said, we obviously have the task of painting our buses in different colors. So let's just go through that task real quick actually finish that off too. So, I am going to go ahead and paint this boss here blue. Let's actually check it out. Let's check out how they are going to be looking. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like the blue color on this thing. Oh, is this their Mercedes? What what brand is this? Is there like brands in this game? Because this looks very much like a Mercedes right there. I mean, obviously, right? That looks like a Merc. Let me let me see if, if we see anything about that right there. Schneider. French. I'm sure as heck that's a Mercedes emblem. Like, come on. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, that said, now, I think we need to actually paint the whole line that color. Yeah, all right. So, uh, second line then, we will paint these two vehicles in uh, green. Let's have a look at them too. Okay, we can see it up here, so that's great. We just don't have the annoying colors up there. So uh, that's pretty cool. Looking pretty great, too. I'm pretty happy with that. Then we've got St. Cloud to Minneapolis, which is going to be red. And look at that. Red as a cherry. And, uh, well, we only have four different bus lines, don't we? Now, isn't that a bit of an issue? got truck training 
Where do we have... Oh, bus training. Okay. Can we paint this in a different colour? I think so, right? Then we should actually have it done. Let's just make it purple. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, kind of depends, right? If, you've, if you're, like, in the middle of building a monopoly, um... Maybe you don't want people to recognize it? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, now we paint them all the same color. Perfect. So just, you know, have me do a totally unnecessary task that I then even have to roll back in the very end. I don't know, guys. Like, I hope you understand that I've kind of got a bit of an issue with these side tasks in the campaign, because I feel they're so unnecessary. <laughs> like, what do I say? I mean, they obviously help pass the time, right? while other things are being taken care of, but still, you know, I, I think we should honestly, you know, if, if it wasn't for me actually wanting to show you guys all this stuff uh, for some of these annoying tasks, I'm just not going to do it. But for this, I think it's pretty fine for now. Let, let's just have a look at the purple bus for now, though, looking absolutely mint, kind of like, kind of like it's right out of Twitch or something. That said, let's, um, let's get them all to red, I suppose, and, um, then we uh, should be done with that task too. So, all these to red, all that to red, and all these are going to be red too. And we're done. Repaint buses, not enough vehicles. Are you trolling? Are you flipping trolling? I just painted everything. Do we need to unpaint them? Let's unpaint them, I suppose. Maybe that's what the game actually wants. Maybe it doesn't actually want us to paint them all the same colour. Maybe it just wants us to get rid of the colour, which would be great if it would be mentioned. But, you know, we can always just give it a try, I suppose. So, um, let's just try that. Guys, seriously. You're trolling me, right? I don't have any more buses. Why would you be messing with me like that? Like, seriously. Okay. I think this is probably the point where we say, uh, whatever. And we're just not going to do it. And I'm just going to go and focus on buying some trucks that I'm going to be assigning to stuff. Because I cannot be bothered with this stuff. So, we're going to buy three. I'm going to assign one to each, so one to asphalt, one to brick, one to clay, just like that. Those are going to get going. We are going to keep going, and I am probably just going to place a little cot right here for you. I'm just going to be hiring a few more truck drivers, getting a few more trucks out there, and getting all this stuff delivered that we need. And once we are closer to our final targets, or I've somehow figured out how to repaint these buses, which I don't think I'm actually going to spend my... Uh, valuable time on anymore, but uh, well, if I should, you know, I'm going to show you guys, but other than that, we will be right back when I've actually come very close to delivering all the stuff we need right here. Alright guys, and welcome back. We are only missing a whole eight asphalt, which are just about to be delivered right here and now consumed. And once that is done consuming, we are actually finally done with that task. So, Great news! I still have obviously not got any clue how to finish this task. Like, don't even ask, honestly. Um, um. I mean, that's a good point. People still thought the crude oil might become scarce someday. How wrong can you be? <laughs> sure. <laughs> How wrong can you be? Yeah, sure. Um, that said, though, I really would have hoped that I, that they would at least like upgrade the streets or something. It does look like people are driving faster on these roads now, though. So I'm not sure. Maybe like at least change the speeds at which vehicles are moving. That said, though. Uh, we are going to need to establish a railway line to supply the fuel refinery with oil. Now, we've got the fuel refinery right here. 
got oil down there so let's go and get that set up right away and just you know place a random train station in the middle of nowhere because why not <laughs> that was a slight whoopsie right there let me try that thing again so I will get a terminus station I'll just make it long as heck and I will be turning it about this yeah this way I think that's that should be about good so now we will also need another terminus all the way out here just in a manner where it's actually you know attached would be great so uh, let's try and achieve that if possible oh wait we've got a road up here so we can honestly just have it like that that should be good and now let's kind of figure out a route for our railway tracks to go so um could kind of go around here right maybe do that so I would like to start building right here we'll just be going pretty much straight through here and we'll start a light bit of a curvature oh we can actually go to steel bridges that would be the first steel bridge I'm gonna mill let's go and do that iron okay it's iron it's not steel I mean steel is kind of iron right I, I would assume this would be steel but maybe the naming's just wrong maybe it is actually iron I don't know, 1920? Was steel already a thing? I would think so, right? I, I really think that, yeah, 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 I, I'm, I'm pretty sure steel was a thing by then, honestly. Um, it's probably what all these locomotives are made of, so, uh, yeah. Probably, probably a weird question right there. That said, let me go and extend this thing outwards like that, and then I am going to attach the railway line right here. And look at that, our first pretty good looking steel bridge right there looks like we are also using concrete in those for the first time so um, a very very interesting one right there and very cool overall that said what we will also need now is going to obviously be in a train meter depot and also look at that train stations actually look different here do you guys see that that's pretty cool I didn't know there was different looks to train stations I think it is about the age here so in which age we're building the train station, so like what time frame, not about the area. Let me know if I'm wrong there, would be great to know. But I think that is what it is about. Would be very great to know though if that's the case, because that would mean that very, very soon that will actually uh, change in my uh, free play world as well. So it would be very interesting. That said though, look at what opportunities we have. We've even got an electric weight. These things are not electric though, right? I can probably probably upgrade that though. Oh no, did I make them electric right away? Look at that! We've actually got we've actually got our first electric railway lines. I didn't even know I made them electrified. That's actually pretty cool. Just look at that. Our first electric railway lines. And that said, this is also going to be our very first electric train. Look at that power! It's so 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 much more than what we had so far in the free play. Less emissions even, 120 kilometers an hour. Let's go. I love it. I absolutely love it. We made this train station like 320 meters long, so we will make the flipping train 320 meters long, and we will buy this for a whole 26 million, but this will be absolutely epic. I do not have a line yet, so I should probably get that going before we get too excited about all this. So let's get this going and we will call this crude oil delivery. Just like that, get that done, get ourselves out here and I will need to catch this because this will so be my highlight. Our first electric train, an absolutely massive one too. And, you know, the first train that goes 120 kilometers an hour, so great stuff. Look, oh wow, look at that beast. It's absolutely massive compared to the trains we had so far. Look at all these tank cars. Slightly not touching, you know, the electric cable right there. I'm sure that's not an issue, right? <laughs> but that said, isn't this looking great? I absolutely love it. It's pretty slow at the moment. Um, which could be due to the fact that it's that long. I didn't actually pay attention to the speed figures off this thing, so let's maybe have a quick look. We're at good still. So, top speed, 80 kilometers an hour, unfortunately. 
as this thing is being limited by the tank car. So that's sad news right there. We're not going to go 120 kilometers an hour with this thing today. But in exchange, it's absolutely massive. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's great. It should just about fit this train station. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing that. Are we at least getting some crude oil in here? We are. 36. I'm pretty sure this train hauls a lot more than 36, mate. You better get... Uh, Gets going on that kind of stuff. That said, establish a railway line to supply the fuel refinery with oil. It's a bit weird because I've already established it. I am pretty sure it's probably going to expect me to start by having a first delivery or something. So, you know, we're just going to be picking all this stuff up and we are going to get going. Let's actually see how fast this thing accelerates. I'm just going to get this to stand at speed and we're just going to watch for a second here. It's not actually too bad, is it? Like, I, I mean, this would be top st uh, top speed for some steam locomotives already, so that's very interesting. My kind of expectation of this whole thing is that it's going to be kind of at top speed going and go as fast as, like, if you ride along on a steam locomotive at double speed. So I'm, I'm really interested to see that, but I'm not going to see it today. As I said, we're only going to go 80 kilometers an hour, unfortunately. Maybe, like, compared to a very basic steam locomotive, that will be the case. But this is a pretty nice frame too, isn't it? I really like... Oh my god, this is a nice picture right there. I love that perspective. Or this one. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. You know, you can also see, like the inside of the locomotive and everything. Who doesn't like that? But look at this. It's just got a bill on top of there. Also very interesting. A few cars, you know, just zooming past them. That's actually so cool. And now, uh, can I... That's sick. I hope you guys like these few perspectives. I, I really just like to take the time sometimes in this game and just admire it for what it is, because I think it does look pretty cool. There's obviously no AAA graphics to see here or anything, but for what it is, I'm always very, very happy with the looks of this game. So I do like to just kind of get sidetracked for a minute, enjoy the graphics, enjoy the looks, and then we can move on with the actual game itself. So that said, I've now sped the game up to triple speed. I would love to see this thing like conk away or you know use the bells whenever it actually approaches uh railway crossing i think that would be pretty cool that said though we are going to arrive here momentarily in what seems to be called eau claire is that what it is yep in the eau claire oil refinery so let's uh see if that now hopefully finishes our mission right there plunk doesn't look like it. It says producing fuel though. Maybe it actually needs to start producing fuel? It is producing fuel. Great thing. Um. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think I may have skipped a small step right there. So we will actually need another train and we will need another railway station because we don't just need the crude oil, we actually need fuel. So Kind of a bit of a whoopsie right there. That said, let's get this uh, slight mistake out of the way then. Let's get this thing fixed. I'm... I can't really build a train station right here, unfortunately, so I will have to make it somewhat more over here if possible. If attachable, which it doesn't look be the case. Uh, let's just make it like this. All right, and then we will configure and I will just have a cargo building, which hopefully I can't place it on that side. Perfect. All right, let's uh, let's just attach it like this then. It looks a bit weird and everything, but as long as it works, it works. So that being attached now, that's in range. Perfect. Now, uh, what I will also need is I will need another platform. I will make it electrified too. Uh, probably actually not going to need it. I would actually like to see the other locomotive too. Especially considering, honestly, that the other locomotive is moving at 80 kilometers an hour as well. So it wouldn't really mean that we're going to be going much slower if you ignore acceleration, right? So 
Nothing to even worry about there. I'm just going to get the train track out all the way to here, though. Just like that, I am going to go and get a train depot attached to, just right here. And uh, make sure that is connected as it is. Perfect. And we will be getting a line up uh, from here to here. And we will call it the oil delivery. Perfect. Okay, at, at least I named the other thing crude oil delivery so we can um, actually separate the two. Now we're going to actually get the Meccano. Um, we are going to get another 320 cars. But look at that mediocre performance right there. So it is definitely quite the change. Oh, we want it 320 meters, not 320 capacity. So... Oh, the okay, so the actual train is a bit longer, that's why we can't exactly have it at 320. We'll just make it 322. I am pretty sure that is going to be pretty fine. We are going to buy that train for a whole whopping 18 million. Did I just sign it to the right line? I think I just slipped on the last one. Oh, let's double check that. Okay, it is on the oil delivery line. That said, we are missing the best part. We can't be missing the best part though. Let's watch this Mikado. I think it may actually be the change of scenery because we are in the Mer American area, right? So it may be the change of scenery that makes the train stations look different because we do obviously have different trains out here too. Now got the American ones instead of the European ones again. So that's probably what makes the train stations look different too. That said though, the Mikado is out on the way. And here's the good old choo-choo that we were all missing from our first electric train. Now that said, guys, it is a long way to the oil refinery. So I think we will only be completing this mission task in the next episode. So for the time being, guys, with this nice view, hopefully soon, of our newest Mikado locomotive. I would like to end this episode right here. So I do hope that you guys did enjoy the episode, and if you did, definitely make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new around here and did enjoy this episode and would like to stay around for more of my content, also make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, as well as the bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on any future upcoming episodes. And with that said, guys, as always, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.